references that we've woven in, um, both in the materials and their references and your trait names. Um, we're really excited to see all of you starting to dive deeper into this as well. Um, you know, I, I, you can, if you see me on Twitter, you can see my cowl, uh, which I, I'll be honest, I love. I love all of these. Um, and at least, you know, I, I personally love your cowl, actually. I, I'm a huge yellow and purple combo fan back from when I was coloring as a kid. Um, <laughs> you know, it just, I, ev everyone is going to be telling their own story and making their own story, but there are also so many clues um, to what's coming next in those materials, traits, names, and the the work that comes before that's come before in DC Comics and DC projects that you know you you have it in your hands now and we're looking forward to uncovering and reviewing more of that with you. Yeah, I mean, I think one of the other things that I really love is just seeing fans who obviously have other interests, right? So many of us do, um, starting to make connections with things that live outside of the 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 Batman canon as well. Because obviously, like you and me, Caitlin, spend a lot of time living in this world, um, working with this content, and it is really fun to see how people sort of push it around and interpret it in their own ways. There's mm -hmm. a brilliant collection of Ninja Turtle uh, cowls out there on Twitter. I'm going to find that um, that handle real quick so I can I can I can shout them out because that's one of my favorite posts that I've gotten to enjoy lately. <laughs> I mean, those are beautiful, and and I have a, a special place in my heart for the heroes with a half shell, um, heroes in a half shell. Sorry, turtle power, everyone. Um, as well as like having the wonderful experience for the last year dive deeper into all of the DC canon as we were thinking about how we would introduce you know introduce you all to to Gotham City um, with these cowls, and I think I, I also have been loving watching all of the creative work you all have been doing putting the cowls onto uh, you know images of everyday life the memes are giving me intense life right now and we're really excited um, we'll have more details on your personal snapchat filters uh, your or your personal lenses um, in the coming weeks that we'll be able to you know give you all more superpowers to bring your cowls to life in the real world Awesome. Thank you. Uh, DJ C, did you have any other questions you wanted to ask Elise and Caitlin? No, um, I think uh, you guys answered um, brilliantly. Um, I'm really excited about the project and I'm looking forward to seeing what's happening in the future. Awesome. Thank you so much for joining us. Yeah. All right. So we are now waiting on Jay Waste and Crypto Corey. Crypto Knight. Let me see. All right. Yapo and Crypto Corey. Okay. Let's uh, uh, maybe Yapo, you can go first and then Crypto Corey and, and Ver will go next. All right. Uh, Vertel, uh, one second. Let's have Yapo the clown go first. Can you hear me? Yes. Yes. Can. Hey, how are y'all? Great. We're really good. I'm so, so excited to be here with you all. <laughs> I hope I hope y'all had a fantastic Mother's Day weekend. And uh, anyways, I just wanted to uh, ask a question. I've been noticing a lot of the bat cow numbers ranging in like the 80,000 range. <laughs> Does that play into anything or can you go into detail on that? Um, I, I can't give you too many details, but... We've tried to weave significance into all of the parts of your cowl. Um, I, I can't tell you whether or not something is a clue yet. Um, and that's something that we're really looking forward to revealing over the course of this two-year experience. And one of the really fun things we're going to be able to do with you uh, come to life. Um, you know, the, the, the cowl number, of course, um, you know, that, that serial number that's in your bat cowl title, the last digit tells you what district of the Night Watch uh, your cowl is assigned to. And we're really excited to be kicking off some really fun storytelling opportunities with you uh, this uh, coming soon. <laughs> and I know that, that it's, um, I'll say it's, it's as hard for us to wait to talk about these things as it is for you all to wait. But we are working so hard to make sure that every one of these reveals is going to be exciting and wonderful for everyone. Um, so 
Yeah, we've clearly made some of these numbers have clear significance we can talk about now. Others, we're just going to have to wait and see together. <laughs> okay, good deal. Well, that's all I had, and uh, I appreciate everything y'all are doing. It's an exciting community, and uh, talk to you later. I'll be listening in. Thank you. Thanks Thank for you. joining me. Thanks. Uh, let's see. Vertal, you're up next. Uh, what's up? Um, good morning, everybody. Hey. hey. Um, so I first, I think okay, it's awesome Vertle, that you turn. You here? If not, can we'll move hear? on, Corey. Oh, we can hear you. Yeah, I'm having Vertle come through. Oh, yeah, me too. Something that's <laughs> muted for me. I'm not oh, sure what. Well, I'm hearing uh, you. we can hear you. Yeah, yeah I'm, hear. Getting, um, I'm getting a very warm, positive discovery from Vertle. Yes. Yes. So don't, don't, skip, don't, don't skip your boy. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so uh, I wanted to say I think it's awesome that you've turned an entire discord of people into detectives with those code <laughs> cracking. Um, mm -hmm. That's awesome. Um, uh, and the last AMA, this is my question. Um, last AMA, uh, you talked about like unlocking the NFTs um, and story. Now, outside of story, um, uh -huh. how did how big of a role does gamification play and what might some of those gaming elements look like if you can talk to speak to that at all um gosh i um th this is one that that um i ask you all to bear with me because i'm going to try and like walk a fine line here because of course we are pulling heavily from um you know past projects um from dc and other works um across all sorts of different platforms, including gaming. Um, I was hugely influenced by the utter legend, uh, Why So Serious project for The Dark Knight Returns. It was a little while back, but you know, it, I first got to experience that. It changed the game for me in terms of how I thought about how we could play with each other in the real world, as well as on all of these bigger budget and longer production time programs like games and, and film and TV shows. Um, there's a lot of exciting things throughout the DC universe that are playing with gaming in different ways. Um, we're integrating ones that we can and ideas that we think are gonna work really well. And every time we can add new features, building on blockchain experiences and adding gamification text with the blockchain in mind, um, we're doing it. Um, we're really excited to explore playing on the blockchain with everyone, but also to tie in where we can to great projects development or that are live and be able to tell you what those are. Those are ready to go with you. Um, so know that there's a lot that we're really excited about that we haven't revealed yet. And when we do, it's going to be, in something where you're gonna be able to participate directly, where there are gonna be layers of experience based on the collections that you have. And it, we're really trying as much as possible to make sure that the fun is coming first. Um, the amount of gamification in this and in he has been sort of looking at how do we make unfun things fun. Uh, we have to lead with fun. If this isn't a fun experience for everyone um, who has a cowl, who has an NFT, um, why are we doing it, right? So that fun is, is teasing and revealing. Part of that fun is working with game systems and game theory. And we're also really excited to hear what's working with you on business. So um, we're gonna have some opportunities for you all to contribute um, insight. I hope that you all will help us um, build out blockchain experiences um, with Palm NFT Studio Mobile by, by helping us learn through polls research that we're going to be rolling next two weeks. Caitlin, I'm so glad that you spoke to that because I do think that's one of the biggest differences between playing a normal video game and engaging in sort of these long form narratives that happen in Web3. The opportunity for us to collaborate with you all as people that are in the same community that we are in is such a unique experience and entertainment. I, I, I treasure it very much already, even though we're just beginning. And we're, we're able to hear your feedback. It's, it's all coming in loud and clear. And so if you have 
you know, hopes and wishes and opinions, like, please share them now and, and often and be ready when we also ask questions to, to give us the answers that we desperately want to hear to help make something that you want to be a part of, too. Awesome. Awesome. Uh, I definitely think a uh, like a neighborhood and then like a world quest like um, game element would be awesome. Heck yeah. We totally agree. <laughs> um, thank you so much for your question. And just every time you all are asking questions in the AMAs, every time you're talking about something online, um, this is stuff we want to be able to, you know, be in conversation with you and, and make sure that we're hearing you. And we might not be able to roll out something in a month, but all, all of this is part of our, our process for building out these two years of experience and hopefully more. Um, and, that, and that will only come if we're creating fun for you, you're sharing back that feedback and really showing everyone that this, this kind of Web3 storytelling and being able to play inside the DC universe with us is something that you want, will continue to want, and to bring more people to. Hey, thank you for your question, Virtal. Awesome. Appreciate it. Thank you so much. Uh, Crypto Corey, you are up. Uh, hi, how are y'all today? Hi, Crypto Thanks, Corey. Uh, uh, I've been seeing uh, a, a number of your posts on Twitter, and I'm really excited to be able to speak with you today. Oh, <laughs> uh, I'm all excited. So I've got kids, and uh, I want them to be into all the, the Batman and all of the Disney, Marvel, everything that's just going to be coming at them over the next few years. It's almost like I'm the one playing with it, and then one day they'll get to play with it. But well, I, um, think yeah, I want to definitely thank y'all for everything that y'all been doing for uh, the community and just uh, the adoption of Web3 in general. Uh, if I have a question. It's uh, I somehow was able to get a part of the uh, uh, DC fandom drops, and I got two of the floppy disks. I own nice. three cow. Is it yeah. is it a good idea to own all fifteen of the different um, floppy disks <laughs> per cow? Um, this is a fun question. I, yeah. I don't think we can actually. <laughs> I don't think well, we can actually tell you what to do with your money or how to build your collection. So just gonna air that out right up top to just yeah. to to be very transparent about that. <laughs> um, for me personally, as as just somebody that enjoys participating in these long form narrative experiences and selfishly likes to enjoy mm -hmm. artwork. I think like, you know, it, do it, do it for, do it based on your instincts and your desires. And I, I don't think we can, yeah, there are a few things that, that we know that are, are sort of out of bounds for us. And one is, you know, we're, we're not advising anyone to make financial decisions. Another is, you know, we're, we're really looking at this as how can we build experiences that people 18 and over are going to really love? Um, because we know that that's that's the group that we are most excited to be able to play with in this. And I'm. I'm so excited to to hear that you want to play with this with with other members of your family too, and share the experience. And that's a wonderful choice. Um, in terms of how we're approaching future development, we also know that we want to make sure that um, it's going to be a fun and exciting experience, no matter how many DC NFTs you have, and that we're going to build in layers that are going to you know build off the collections we're dropping that are going to build off the collections that are already there. And, um, you know, also that we're building the idea that you'll be able to share them with one another and have experiences that ask you as community members to work together on challenges and as this fantastic team, uh, that faction as your Gotham City Nightwatch districts. And that part of that play is going to be collaborative. So there be, will be fun to be uh, definitely thank you all i want to issue a, a, a suggestion a challenge whatever it is this is me going outside of the box kicking my idea of the can down the road as far as humanly possible <laughs> let's hear it i i have a dream that one day <laughs> I can put on a pair of glasses that don't look dorky, and then every person who's got those glasses on, when they look at me, all they see is 
That's all I want. That's all I want. Thank y'all. So much. Oh. <laughs> it's a beautiful dream, crypto call, and I think we share it. Um, yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much for your questions. I'm so excited to, to hear your thoughts and looking forward to how we can bring more of your requests to Awesome. I think uh, we have Lucy on stage with us now. I hey, we, Legacy. I think if this is the last <laughs> that I'm aware of, he is very well known in this community. A he legend. Almost single handedly rallied <laughs> VV community around this project. Is that you, Legacy? Hello. Yes, I'm here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> welcome, welcome. <laughs> Uh, I am don't so think excited. I owe you, yeah, don't think I've forgotten. I owe you joining at Twitter Spaces, and it's coming. I promise. <laughs> okay, I'm glad that you are going to stick to that, Caitlin. We're excited to speak to you, and Elise, you're also invited as well um, to come and speak with us. Please do. Let's so my you. question is: first off, the the artwork on these is phenomenal, and I've been, you know, we've we've been telling people how amazing the artwork is. A lot of people didn't get to um, see the amazing until the reveal. Yeah. So my question is, a lot of these have a, a very unique pattern mm -hmm. that almost, if you can say, symbolizes certain characters maybe in other forums. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and we are well aware of this. <laughs> Does that somehow directly tie into maybe what some of the storylines or some of the actions or rabbit holes that we will go down with these cowls? <laughs> um, at least you want to go first because I, I can I can definitely speak to this too. <laughs> yeah, no, definitely. I mean, I think broadly, like just at a high level, the sky really is the limit. This is one of the most like enriching and rewarding partnerships that I've been able to participate in. Um, and especially like a lot of content that already exists in, in, in the DC like universe to be able to reach out and touch. And so um, with this first project, obviously it was kind of like getting a wish list to ourselves um, involving different materials and different characters and different environments as well, or, or just points in history along the Batman compendium. And um, the people who approved them saw that wish list and had long conversations with us about other things that are coming to be. So without giving away too much because spoilers are no fun, like the short answer is is yeah um, there's there's <laughs> there's easter eggs hidden all over the place and i think probably the director of story here the lovely caitlin burns can answer more about anything that we might be excited to take a look at that's coming up oh yeah um you know th there are some direct clues in there there are some indirect clues in there um we've been working really hard with uh, the D Comics editorial teams to make sure that we're weaving in as much of the history of Batman and Gotham City and bringing in as much fun and as many opportunities for storytelling as we can. Um, a lot of those are going to have direct relationships to things that are to come. Others are, you know, still are things that, you know, may inspire something from you all that turns into something new. Um, but uh, and, and that's what I tell you right now. It, we a lot of, you know, it, it, we're, we're excited um, to take all of these, all of these traits and materials and clues and cues and weave them into a bigger world that you're going to be a part of. Okay, that's that's exactly the answer that I'm I'm wanting to hear. Um, <laughs> you guys, you guys are a phenomenal team. I, I've done you know some research on uh, as many people on the team as I've been able to, and yeah. you guys are phenomenal and are perfect for the job. Uh, Hopium, we would love to have you in the space as well because 
I, I'm aware that you're a, a part of this team as well. So um, we would love to get you guys in the space and, and you know, just chat and, and, you know, learn who you are as people and maybe some of your roles with Palm and, and how you found your way to such a magnificent uh, project. Sounds good, I, Legacy. Help me in. Yeah. And I'll just say that, um, you know, Elise and I have been working together for the first time here at Palm NFT Studio, and I don't know what I've done, how I've gotten by without working with Elise before. Um, and just, you know, we are um, but representatives of much bigger teams here, too. And I want to shout out all of the fantastic creators here at Palm NFT Studio because we are all putting in work every day that inspires us to do the best I can possibly bring project and now that you all are part of this community um we are all just so excited to be able to create work with our team and with your your contributions and and make sure that um you know it, we're getting up every day and putting our whole hearts into this and we really um are so happy that that you all are enjoying it as much as we've enjoyed putting it together so far yeah, it's it's really nice that other people are able to pick up on the the love that is being like perpetuated throughout these projects. It does start with these teams and there is a lot of it here. I know it sounds kind of hokey to say, but like I I genuinely have never had a, a a team that I've loved working with as much as the one that I do here. And and when you get to work on something that everybody genuinely cares about and and wants to make beautiful and awesome and a long lasting, like I think it really um, it really comes through. So it's, it's, it's such a, such a wonderful moment to be able to see that that's being reflected back at us. And just before you go legacy, like you're one of one, <laughs> your honorary cowl here uh, was one of our favorite ones to make. I don't know if Ryan is here in uh, the, the discord, maybe he can give a little wave, but um, unlocking or unraveling your aesthetic and, and trying to make something special to honor the influence you have in the space was, was really exciting and definitely one of our favorites. Uh, that makes me even more excited. And thank you guys. And I, we appreciate your time. It's, it, we're just having fun every day. So thank you. We appreciate you. So glad to hear it. Thank you for joining. Thank you for, for all of your, your time spent working um, to, to have fun in this community too. And uh, thank you again. Thanks so much, Legacy. I know we have a we have a conversation going in the Twitter DM, so I'll pick that up with you, and we can coordinate as well. All right, thank you. Uh, a, a blessing to be up here. Thank you, guys. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thank uh, you. Jenny, did you have a question? Hi. Um, thank you so much for having me up, Janie. I am welcome. also a super fan of yours. Um, <laughs> I am in love with your bad gala tweet i love your oh, mask uh, on your other on your lisa frank collection um i definitely felt a little a little chastened that we did not have a lisa frank uh pattern woven in here too um but yeah i want to thank you so much uh for for you know uh talking about and talk uh, about the cows you know kind of as fashion too because uh, we all love costuming and fashion and, and apparel too. And we're, we're so excited to see people picking up uh, what we're putting down. <laughs> yeah, no, I appreciate that. Um, sorry, just real quick. Uh, I'm going to give a shout out because the whole um, coin term with that gala, that was a uh, crypto agio. I don't know if I'm nice. pronouncing it right. <laughs> I just want to give him the shout out because uh, I talked yeah. to him too because because I was actually with another community talking about um, the Met Gala, and we were literally critiquing it part of the Hug community. And then straight up the next day when there was the reveal, we were in there, and this gentleman said, oh, it's the Bat Gala. And I was like, that is freaking genius. And so it really is. <laughs> fire to um, just put something together because – um, I, I know the last AMA that y'all had uh, that actually Steph came up and was asking about, you know, your interest in fashion. And Elise, I heard you speak a little bit about that too. Um, but before I ask my question, I just want to give a shout out real quick to all the people who have been holding down all the spaces and just being very generous and sharing the knowledge and you know, creating a comfortable place for everyone to come through. 
um, like yourselves. Um, we're, I'm super looking forward to having both of you there. Um, also, Matt and Josh and various other people come through. Um, so, yeah, shout out to all those people. Um, I can't remember everyone, so I'm sorry if I don't see But Legacy, F Mox, BCG, Shadow, Sharks, King, and, um, you know, the many other people to hold it down. So, sorry, I, I didn't mean to just take over this thing, but um, oh. I... <laughs> I did. <laughs> well, I, mean, I just want to recognize because I think like this is what builds community. The fact that everyone is adding in, you know, their um, what they're good at, and like literally straight up, people are dissecting your tweets and the roadmap and Batman history. Like it's like <laughs> a girl thesis statement. So, Caitlin, it's getting dissected. <laughs> I've kind of noticed. And I mean, yeah. um, you know, I, I will say that I'm always really cautious about what I say about projects I'm working on. There, there are projects that I've been sitting on spoilers for for 13 years. Oh um, and I, I want to make sure that I'm preserving the fun. And a lot of that means that, that you know, I'm, I'm doing my level best to not reveal things that you know, teams of dozens or even hundreds of people are working really hard on, um, mm -hmm. and have and really want to make sure that they can have the same excitement to surprise you all as I get to on a regular basis. Um, know that I'm listening and I'm really excited to participate. And you know, th this is really part of the fun of building these complex uh, complex projects that are built for super fans that are inviting people into their into the worlds. Uh, Caitlin, it's so real, that level of self-control to not just spill the beans with everybody because the beans are so, so good. Um, it's so it's, hard. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, it, it's truly difficult. I have uh, like a stress ball, no joke, uh, right next to me that I just hold on to. Um, his name is Rothko. He's my cat. Um, <laughs> he doesn't appreciate it very much. But yeah, no, it's, it's, it's real. Um, and I think like, the only thing that uh, helps us is just the excitement that we get to see when people do get these moments of reveal and get to celebrate with us and, and, and get to interact with us on Twitter and here in Discord. And like those moments really are so rewarding. And I, I do think that they are worth the, the long, long uh, yeah. uh, um, silence. Even the experience of, of, you know, holding on, knowing that, that these big collections were coming. Um, you know, those codes that were on the Fandom NFT, uh, Fandom 2021 NFT collection, you know, they, they were in people's hands for months. And we spent a lot of time going back and forth on like, should we, shouldn't we? And watching you all dive into the code breaking in these past weeks has been amazing. So good. Um, yeah, and, and that moment where someone recognizes this has been in my hands all along is something that, you know, is a huge treasure. And we want to make sure we're weaving in as much of these long tail moments for you all as we can. Um, because, I mean, for me, that's part of the, that's part of the whole, I, whole thing. Like, the more, um, the more we can build in these, these moments of suspense and, you know, we might know something about something, but it's, for two years from now. And that, that's really part quickly, of it. Um, ask Jenny if you, if you had a question that you wanted to ask. Yes, I do have a question. Um, so my question actually revolves around fashion. And obviously, I definitely appreciate that um, part of it is also weaving in the story. Um, for example, I just want to highlight a few things. I mean, Nike has had partnerships. And I know I've been tweeting a lot about Nike and Dunks and Jordans and such. Um, even in one of the old Batman movies, um, actually, Mike Ke Michael Keaton actually wore a pair of Jordans. Um, but, you know, I just am curious about what sort of merch opportunities or brands, um, cause obviously, um, you know, Palm and, and Warner brothers and DC and Batman, these are, you know, huge names in the industry. And I'm sure there's things that are being cooked up and I'm not sure what you can share. Um, but just curious as to like, even with, uh, things of that nature, like, how are you weaving that into the storyline and the design? Um, yes, that's all. Yeah. Um, Goody, I love this question. <laughs> Caitlin, um, can I step in and, please, and, please. and uh. <laughs> sprinkle some excitement over this? So first of all, the easiest question to answer is how we're weaving this into the design. Like it's, it's going to be in the design of everything that we're doing moving forward, frankly. Um, there are a lot of sneakerheads here at Palm. There are a lot of people that love streetwear in general. 
Um, there's a lot of us who are, um, you know, just followers of haute couture and other forms of fashion. So we're all over the map. It's something that I think is deeply ingrained into the Palm DNA as well, just to appreciate and enjoy and follow um, fashion designers, big and small and, and globally. So it's it's impossible to strip away from the DNA of these projects, I think. And I, you know, we're, we're, we're definitely on a theme here with the, the the DC program. And I think if you're enjoying any of these influences from, from streetwear especially, then I think what we have planned, which again, I wish I could talk about more, is going to be very satisfying for you at its culmination. Um, and so it, it, is, it is in the works. Um, we have real ground that we're, uh, you know, working with here to, 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 make, to create some really beautiful collaborations that people are going to be able to participate in. And I am so very excited to be one of those people as well. Yeah. And I, I you know, we both have history in apparel and, you know, both as, as wearers and as, as participants. And um, my, my specialty in college was actually costume design. So I am bring, we're bringing a lot of influences from the way costumes are, are designed because you all, if you have a cow in your wallet, are a character. Um, and we're thinking not just about how these digital wearables are going to express themselves in experiences, but you know we're all really excited about potentials for future stuff um, that we can't talk about too. But <clears throat> the other thing I'll say is, um, those Michael Keaton boots are so amazing. And, I, and, if, <laughs> and at NFTLA, we had the incredible experience of having the Batmobiles live and uh, the, the bat suits um, from different films live with us. And we're so excited to also be, be you know, exploring behind the scenes fans experiences and things and future, future content. Um, know that we are really excited both to explore this in these experiences, but also to dive deeper with you all and, and look at what's the history of these incredible works that, you know, we hopefully, you know, hopefully you'll be able to, to join us and explore in some of these deep, these deeper parts of lore and these deeper parts of, of historical productions with us too. Yeah. And to anybody that is a big fan of any, any brand out there uh, creating not just sneakers, but any cool outfits, really, um, send them my way. I want to see more. I want to see what y'all are looking at, too. Um, I know what I'm looking at. I want to see what y'all are looking at. So please tag me, DM me, share me all of the beautiful stuff that inspires you. Um, I, I'm, I'm all ears and all eyes. Hey, thank you. Sorry, thank you so much for um, answering my question. I'm sorry if I took up too many time, but I appreciate the diversity appreciate the fashion angle and at least just real quick i think your deans are closed because i was trying to send you um the jordans at one point oh no uh, maybe not. so just um if you that uh just giving you a heads up um i'll stop talking so i can let all my other friends in the community be able to have a chance to ask questions thank you very much i feel like i could talk to you guys forever about fashion but i'll stop right here <laughs> thanks so much we'll Jane. be back we will be back <laughs> Um, let's see. So we have uh, about 20 minutes left. There are tons of people waiting. Uh, what I'm going to ask is that you keep your question really fast or direct it specifically to Caitlin or to Elise. Um, and please make sure that you've muted yourself when you come on stage and someone else is speaking. A random hero, you are up. Thank you. Hello. Hey. Hi. Oh, hi. So I, I guess it's, this is this is me being a hero from my, from my friends who are who I convinced to be part of the project. I really convinced them. I was really excited and then told them about it. They're like, yeah, this is awesome. And then like I'm t I'm, and I'm telling them about the AMA. They're like, oh, dude, I'm working. I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I know, I know you're working, but I'm, I'm listening. They're like, hey, yo, like, well, how are we gonna know this stuff if we're not in the spaces or we're not? So my question is for them. Okay, my question is for them. Will there be official communications when things start rolling, like via email? I know it's the simplest question ever, but like, <laughs> but, but, but I mean, like, like, I'm always in there, I'm listening to everything, and then they're like, dude, we, we can't, we, we work it. I'm like, I know. 
So yeah, that's the question. I mean, is it, like, will it be like by email? Like we're starting now, or yeah. will it be like you'll find out the spaces? Good luck. Uh, <laughs> I mean, tune into the Bat Cal's Twitter and Bat Cal's Discord, and of course, uh, the Palmetto Tea Studio Discord, and uh, sign up for the email list. Um, they're definitely there, so we can make sure that everyone who wants to know about upcoming collections and upcoming experiences and announcements are are going to be coming your way. Um, Sean, where do you recommend people people look? Yeah, I would say sign up for emails, get into the the servers, and and ask questions of the mods. But I think email is probably the best way to be up on all of the information as it comes out. Email and definitely Discord for sure. Yeah. And if you haven't, if they haven't signed up for a NFT a DC a DC and uh, DC NFT account, um, definitely encourage them to do so because that'll help to to get notified about upcoming drops and exciting new experiences. Oh, so when the actual like game or stuff starts, like along with they because they, they bought their accounts, right? So. So, so they'll just uh, like we'll be notified on the website and through that information when it starts. Yeah, I mean, if you have an oh. account, you're going to get notified. <laughs> oh, okay, good, good. Again, this is me doing my due diligence. I mean, like, I wanted to ask about I wanted to ask about the artist and see if he was coming back to do the other stuff. Oh. But, hey, hey, I got, I got, I got. I was trying, I was trying to be someone's hero. Awesome. No worries. Thank you so yeah, much for. For, for double checking, we want to make sure that everybody is has has the best possible avenues for being able to stay up to date. So, yeah, yeah. I think the email is going to be great. I think and for these AMAs, we also will be um, sharing the recordings on the Palma NFT Studio Discord. So, if your friends haven't been able to join today, please encourage them to check out the Discord, and, and all of this information will be there for people to review asynchronously. <laughs> Crypto Knight, you are up. Are you there? Okay, we're gonna move to BGC Apes. Hi, thank you for having me up and allowing me to speak. I got, I guess, a, a fairly simple question. But before that, I wanna make a comment. Caitlin, that tweet that you put out about the alligator in the nuclear power plant. Oh my gosh. It was a great um, one. I, I am a huge devotee of weird news. I'm a pretty curious nerdy person and it's it's been tough to balance my regularly scheduled like deep media and weird news uh plans with you know what is someone going to see as a clue because <laughs> i'm also <laughs> a, a person <laughs> exactly so I, I saw the tweet and i'm like wait a minute this might kind of be crossing over into her personal interests so i was like oh, i'll just leave it and not think too much of it then because it is I mean, kind of something that I might be interested in. Well, so. I hope that things I post, um, regardless of their connection to uh, the, the Bat Cows collection, are interesting for all of you. And, and I, I'm going to get back to my normal patterns of, of posting things that I think are interesting, as well as updates on this collection uh, in the next couple of weeks. <laughs> <laughs> all right. All right. I'm sorry for that. Yeah. Okay, here's okay. my question. So there's a, a bunch of big companies uh, involved with this, you know, this project from based on what I see. Of course, you got the Palm blockchain and the, the wonderful folks like yourself, uh, you know, Elise and Hopium and all the great people in the Discord. You know, you've got DC, you've got Warner Brothers. And now I also noticed that uh, Microsoft was part of the project too. And so I wanted to ask either you or Elise, what is it like to work elbow to elbow with the folks over at Microsoft? What kind of experience has that been for you? Um, what we can talk about is that Microsoft has invested in Palm NFT Studio and I can't tell you anything else. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. That was perfect, Caitlin. You know what? You just got a, you got a Grammy for that. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it. It's hard. <laughs> it's not easy. Um, I can no, tell you that um, I've worked with Microsoft Game Studios historically, and it's some of the most amazing creative teams ever. Like I, I'm very I'm publicly, you know, able to talk about working on Halo in the past, and you know, I, they're a wonderful team, and I, I'm a huge Halo fan as a person. So um, this is not like that's it. That's all I can say. <laughs> 
<laughs> no, that's cool, Caitlin. You know, thank you very much for answer, answering. Uh, you know that, and uh, uh, again, uh, thank you. All right, Hopium, you can you can give me the boot if you want. Thank you, BGC. <laughs> Appreciate you. <laughs> um, I think Voltraman Papa One <laughs> is up next. Are you there? I'm here. Can you hear me? Yes, yeah. sir. I I just have a simple question. Um, Elise, the uh, the Lakers uh, cowl. <laughs> if you want to trade it, you know, would you be willing to trade it? <laughs> I'm uh, so I sorry. I... <laughs> yeah, I appreciate. I, it's a joke question. I don't I don't expect that, but I appreciate everything you all are doing. I'm um I'm not a yeah. very big Batman fan, and I'm only into NFTs for the last year. But uh, this is the project that I'm most interested in. I've I've invested and in, um in my gameplay and many other projects. But um, I, I really love what's going on here, and I um keep up the good work. Thanks a lot, y'all. That's beautiful. Thank you for stepping up as a token holder. We really appreciate it. And as far as uh, this cowl goes, I think someone already claimed it in my DMs. So uh, <laughs> all you all other Laker fans, you're going to have to compete in the secondaries for for this love. <laughs> oh, that's cool. That's cool. <laughs> I'll, I'll just... I'll just add, you know, we, we try to be really responsible as a company too. So um, for, for our staffers, we have some, li some limits around what we can do with these projects. And, and so, you know, I feel like at least uh, you getting those Lakers colors is part of a spiritual journey for you to embrace that LA pride. <laughs> is that is that what's happening? I am I am born and raised in LA. Maybe it was meant to be. <laughs> yeah, it, it it was drawn to you as an avatar of the spirit of LA. Oh no! Ultraman, <laughs> <laughs> uh, did you have anything else? Was that it for you? Yeah, that that was it. Thank you very much. Okay, thank you, uh, Jocko. Did you have a question? Yes. Hey, guys. Thank you so much for having me up. It's wonderful. You guys are great. I would say that Caitlin and Elise, you're the new dynamic duo. Um, Aww. My, my That's a role. huge compliment. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I rock on. Well. But anyway, my question has to do with districting. Is there anything you could tell us about it, what we can expect, what we might see, and so on? Um, you know, we you already have um, some information, and there's a great post up on uh, the Palm NFT Studio blog at palm.io um, that you can check out more, um, some of the locations in each district, a little bit about sort of the character and feel. Um, we're going to have more content about the districts coming out soon, and I can't tell you what it is yet. Um, we're also hard at work on tools that are going to help you all navigate these districts and play. And I can tell you that all of this is going to grow um, as you're experiencing it, as you're participating. And we're so excited to not be able to tell you what we're working on yet. <laughs> um, awesome. Uh, uh, was that it, for Jocko? Anything else? Yeah, no, thank you very much. I'll pass it on to somebody else to get a, a question in there. But thanks, guys. Appreciate it. Awesome. Thank you so much. Uh, Blake me a cake. I love these names. So good. Such creativity. Hey, how's it going? Room. Hey, Blake. Oh, oh, man, I like um, thanks for being here. So um, I guess this question could be for anyone. I was just noticing a lot of story connections between the narrative with the Bat Cows and the new Gotham Knights video game. And mm -hmm. one thing in particular that caught my attention yesterday was a quote unquote augmented reality key that will come included inside the collector's edition of the game. I was wondering if you guys have heard about this and if there could be any potential connection with that and the cows. Like, I was thinking it would be cool if it could maybe provide additional access to things within the neighborhood stuff that's going to happen. That would be cool. <laughs> um, and, and what I'll say is a lot of these projects that have been in production for a long time are doing really cool things across the board for DC content, and not all of them uh, connect to our projects. Um, you know, we're we're working with teams across DC to find opportunities to connect, and one of the things that you know excites me every day on this project is learning about some incredibly cool idea that I wish we had, um, or I wish we were able to connect in the in the short term um but a lot of a lot of that is um you know we're going to announce the things that are 
specifically connecting to the bat cow collection and the wider DC NFT ecosystem. Um, a lot of the bigger projects that are going to be later on. Um, so, you know, I, again, I'm tiptoeing around it, but um, there are definitely things that we love and we love to see people exploring AR and these connections. Um, but I can't say anything about Gotham Knights uh, that connects to us right now. Okay, great. Thank you. Thanks, Blake. Uh, Chaba, did you have a question? Yeah, um, very nice to meet all of you. Um, just with that previous question, what, what immediately came to mind when bringing up Gotham Knights was the, um, like the whole Battle for the Cowl storyline from a oh, little while ago, I guess. But um, mm -hmm. just want to say that the cowls all look great. Like I love like the ears on some of them. Like the it really takes me back to like Arkham, like the Arkham games, is, like specifically yeah. mine, like this Lakers yeah. one. <laughs> this it's is... such a great cowl, Elise. I mean. It, it... <laughs> Um, no, it t totally. And we have been inspired by the game history of Batman, the comics and animated series history of Batman. I mean, I, I grew up watching Batman, the animated series every day it came on. I could just catch it if we got home from school on time. And I, I'm so we're, we were so excited to figure out all of the different ways we could reference that past history into the designs. Mm -hmm. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, no, the Arkham series was that for me. Like they started to come yeah. out when I was in middle school, so. Yeah. <laughs> um, and I guess my question was uh, just more so. I, I'm fairly new to like the NFT space and stuff. This is my first uh, AMA that I'm a part of, and I was just wondering, um, if it, you guys haven't answered this uh before, just uh, uh, why specifically like the cowls, or, like from Batman? Like I understand the significance, but um, like I was just wondering, like the cowls above. Like, why the cows above, like, everything else? This question, too. Um, I think it, it's, 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 it felt like a really natural place for us to start when we were considering how people would, like yourself or just anyone beginning their journey with our program needs to build an identity. And the, the cowl feels like the central point of where an identity begins, I think just from a purely design perspective, um, when you're creating a character, right, you want to have as few shapes as possible, you want it to be legible from far away, you want the silhouette to be really strong. All of these things felt like points we wanted to capture with our first drop here related to your, your, own, your ownership of who you are gonna become in this world that we're building through Gotham. Um, and I think a lot of those elements get ticked off in the cowls. They are a really clear shape. Obviously, they, they cover your own face, which substitutes an identity for you or, or becomes a new one. And I think for all of those reasons, it just started to make a ton of sense that um, this iconic part of the Batman legacy could be something that other folks in Gotham could reinterpret. Um, and start their own stories based off of uh, the way that they might look and feel and, and adapt to the different materials and also the different meshes here, right? Like if you play video games, I personally love the long range characters. I like playing glass cannons. I feel like a lot of the shapes that we're using here relate to different parts of um, a character that you would necessarily like, um, play in, in, a, in a typical group setting. So we have some tanks here in the cowls. We have some glass cannons. We have people that are a little bit more agile and nimble, I think, in terms of the, the shapes that we have for the jaws and the ears. And I don't know, that, that kind of flexibility and fun just really, I think, is, is, is represented well through a cowl, more so than through like boots, for instance, or, um, which are not off the table as something to still play with and customize, but like the cowls just felt like the best place to start. And I, I love them so very much. Uh, and this was a, a big back and forth with the, the mm -hmm. DC creative teams as well. So, you know, the conversation is where do we begin this journey? Um, what can we make sure that we're, we're putting out that's going to help people see themselves in the DC universe. And you know, I, we, we just kept coming back to Batman and the and the cowl. It's so iconic. It's been part of so many storylines. Um, and they and DC really wanted to make sure that this felt 
important and iconic. And I think that um, at least every time you added another layer to this art, it just felt more and more that way. And I'm, I could not be more excited um, that these are ex exciting and feel that way to you all as a community and that you're with us on the first step of this journey into the DC universe. Great. Thank you for that. Thanks so much, Chaba, for your question. Yeah, uh, thank, thank you all too. Ingo, you are up next. Hi, can you guys hear me? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I just uh, first of all, I just want to thank you guys for uh, this NFT. It's, it's really one of the more accessible NFTs for like newcomers, and uh, I think it's a great introduction for people who've never been a part of something like this. Um, but uh, my question is uh, about the mystery and this, because uh, uh, for the Discord, uh, we've had a lot of people who've gone like deep, deep, deep undercover. You know, like yeah. more than Axel Foley. Uh, <laughs> you know, more than Axel Foley undercover. And I was just wondering, can you give us any kind of insight? Because some people, you know, they've gone like 80 years past into the comic book history, <laughs> going online. We're just, we're going like all kinds of cipher, <laughs> and all kinds of things. I was just wondering, um, can you give us an insight? Because I know this NFT is like supposed to be for everybody. Like, you know, for someone like me, I'm not that smart. And I'm, I don't know that much about comics. Like, can anybody yeah. jump in on the mystery? Can you give us any details yeah. about that? I mean, sure. I mean, we, all of those mysteries and all of those levels of play are there. And we're going to keep having things that are going to be exciting for fans who love decoding and who love live events and who love um, being able to play in, in other ways, too. Um, so, so know that, you know, while the code puzzles might not be for you, we're definitely looking at other ways we can play together and other ways we can help you feel your creativity and it really enjoy exploring the DC universe with us. Um, beyond that, um, I really would love to hear if, if you have an interest in going deeper into the comics. Um, DC Universe Infinite is an incredible resource with so much of the, gosh, um, I think a hundred years of DC comics. Um, you know, it, it, it's, I've loved going deeper into the history of Batman for this project and others for other characters that we're working with now. Um, we are so excited to be able to share all of the joys of being a fan and to watch new people enter both the Web3 experience space, but also um, you know, explore the incredible amounts of love and creativity that have gone into the history of Batman with us. Um, we've got some really fun rabbit holes um, that we've laid out for you and, and places that you could explore and start that journey into the history of DC. And I'd love to know from all of you in the audience, what are your favorite storylines? Um, tell me, because I have mine and I'm really excited to hear yours. And some of the next steps will be tying into some of those historical storylines as we all leave a new path into the, the history of Gotham City together. Yeah, and I was just wondering, like, uh, I don't know. Oh, sorry. Uh, I didn't know if you guys seen the Discord, but like, yeah, we've so far it's been something about Dark Side and Wonder Woman. Are we are we headed down the right path? Are we in the right alley? Yeah. Or uh, is there anything you guys can say about that? So I can say that what I've seen is you all are almost there. You all are almost to uncovering the whole clue set from the fandom NFTs. Once you do, something is going to happen. Um, we've been sitting on this since October. <laughs> Um, beyond that, um, you know, clues are in the comics for things uh, that's what to, that are yet to come. And I invite you all to spend some time uh, going back into the really beautiful history of Batman. And uh, you know, I, I can't tell you more than that yet, but um, know that we've been doing our research and we've been working with teams that are the world experts. On Batman, and uh, we are so excited to bring you into this world with us. Thank you so much. Yeah, doing. I love. I love all the work you guys do. Loving this project, and uh, yeah, looking forward to the future. Thanks, Dingo. Um, okay, so we are sadly we are out of time. I do want to honor um, the that are on stage. So I will get to you if Caitlin and Lise, if you can spare a few more minutes. Yeah, I, I can stick around a little longer. Okay, yeah. great. Um, a little bit of housekeeping. Uh, those of you who have, who have been uh, with us for the past hour, uh, you might notice that you have a new role on Discord. Um, we've created a unique channel. 
um, called AMA attendees. Once you get off the AMA, you should be able to enter that channel because it will be associated with your role. If you weren't at the AMA, then you didn't get the role. Please do not DM, no condition. She's begged me to ask you <laughs> not to DM her. <laughs> um, but this is how the POAP distribution will work. You'll get this role because you have been in the room, um, you in the and then POAP codes will be distributed. So that's how it's gonna work, okay? Um, and then one thing that I want to mention is cryptobitso.nft in the audience. If you are, please, raise your hand um i don't see you um but he might be working because i was messaging with oh there he is okay i see you um i'm gonna invite you up really quick uh so for those of you who don't know crypto bitso is uh he's been he has initiative and he's been creating uh uh the cowls for for cowls and he's just been doing this on his own which i just think is so absolutely incredible i thought i just invited him up oh there he is yeah. Um, yeah. so <laughs> thank you so much taking this just taking it upon yourself to do this really cool thing for the community we really appreciate it and to that end we would love to gift you your own bat cowl i'm pretty sure you already have one but this is just uh, our way of saying thank you. This is the level of engagement that we're looking for in the community, and we just wanted to say thank you. So, reach out to me. DM. We've already been talking. To get you uh, your bat cow. And so we have a few more people on stage. Let's go with Blade One Sixty Five. Hey guys, thanks a hey. lot for. Hey, hey, thanks a lot for um, keeping this space. And uh, thank you for the, at least thank you for the awesome artwork. And uh, uh, Caitlin, thank you for um, building the world around all of this. Um, and I actually have a question for uh, both Caitlin and Elise. And, yeah. uh, and uh, well, for me, it's, it's like um, I'm very uh, interested in the NFT space and the um, uh, and like the so the way that NFTs are kind of the social layer of the crypto space, and uh, how that space is like growing, and uh, on Twitter and on Discord, and just just seeing these communities um, get a life of their own. And I'm also interested in like three brand are, are like with this uh -huh. space and. Uh, so how like yeah, like um gonna honor the uh, the like the tradition of decentralization space and and at the same time uh, in the dream uh, brands and, and just what what are your thoughts around that stuff? Uh, yeah, I mean I think <laughs> Centralization is a is a core value for Palm NFT Studio and that we were founded upon and it's something that we were, you know, that that's what we do. Continue yeah. that vision of decentralization in a in a way that is really, you know, conscious of the environment and reduces emissions as much as possible. It's something that we work really hard to adhere to. And then the final thing that we honor uh, is scalability, frankly, like making sure that people have access to these and can enjoy them no matter what kind of, you know, experience they have with crypto previously, um, or, or, you know, maybe they, they're, they're experts already and they've been here a long time and they're curious about projects, or maybe they're people like some of the folks we've had up today who this is their first brush with NFTs and they're excited about the stories that we can tell. I think that all of those core values are things that we take very, very seriously um, and just on a personal note, I think ownership is, is such a cool and empowering way to take part in these like um ips that otherwise are a little bit more of a potentially one-sided conversation where you get to enjoy content as a fan um but don't really get to uh you know have any sort of real interaction moving forward with the people behind the screen or under the hood or behind the curtain or whatever metaphor you prefer um and so ownership through nfts uh, 
empowers that conversation to be a two-way street, which I think is really exciting. Um, and th these are all points that we uh, take into consideration at the beginning, middle, and end of all of the projects that we're working on. Yeah. Um, I'll say, you know, I'm so excited to be working with teams that are committed to building what blockchain experiences and committed to decentralization and working with big institutions um, that are really interested in exploring their NFT strategies and figuring out how they can work with Web3 in ways that make sense, mm -hmm. that respect the thousands of other people and companies working with them to create story worlds and experiences that you all love and we love and they love. And I think that one of the big challenges um, for a lot of these big projects is going to be how much, how fast and, and how ready everyone is to play with IP in different ways and in respectful ways that have a bigger understanding of what it means to be working in a story world that has 100 years of history and, and so many different teams working to create the best possible experiences, um, some that we get to play with and others we don't, um, and to make sure that we still are being protective of these worlds we love and the opportunities for visionary creators to make films that take years or games that take more years and thousands of people's efforts uh, to bring them to life. So, you know, the thing that, that I'll say is that, you know, as we explore these, um, we, we really ask for your patience and your goodwill as, we, as we're working with these big institutions, as well as these incredibly bold and dynamic uh, emerging creators that are working with decentralization in different ways. And some experiences won't feel as decentralized as you want them to be. And some will be people really putting their necks out in major companies to explore decentralization with you all. And we're all in this together. Um, everyone who I know who's working on any project with us is totally committed to figuring out how to make these traditional systems and these new systems really work as well as possible for everyone involved. And you know, some of the projects we're working on that we haven't brought to market yet are really bold and ambitious in their goals for co-creation and decentralization. Others are trying new things um, that are beholden to more traditional models of sharing where there may be 12 other companies working on similar pro uh, on projects in the same story world that we need to be respectful of. So I, I hope that you all will keep open minds with us and be part of these big experiments uh, together uh, with open hearts and, and goodwill, because that's how we're approaching it too. And that's how our partners are. Great, thank you for that. Um, let's see, we got a couple more people. Profit 808, did you have a question? Okay, we'll move on to Andrew G. Hey everybody, I'm a huge fan of this community. <laughs> love you guys, love my bat cowl. Thank you guys all. Just wondering in the future, do you think uh, it'll be possible to own my own unique bat cowl, either a miniature version or a full size version that I can put on my face and wear? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I, I can tell you that I would love that too, and I can't say anything else. <laughs> Just awkward giggles over here. It's something we all want. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I wanted to thank you guys so much. <laughs> thank you. Thanks for your question. <laughs> all right. Last but not least, 777 Lucky Shadow. Hello. Um, can you hear me? Yes. Yes. Thank you for joining us. Yeah. Hey, um, this is my first time doing one of these. So, um, I um read the districts on the Night Watch, and mm -hmm. I noticed that there's a common thread with them. In the end, it says, "Don't hesitate to help out the mm -hmm. other um people in the other districts if they need help, and you're all good in your district." So, yeah. Does that mean like there's going to be times when the districts team up? I can tell you that we're building all of this with the idea that you all will be working together at different times in mind. 
So within your district, we want you to be good partners to the other members of your patrol. And we know there will be times where people need to cross districts um, and make sure that they're you know, in support of, of things that are going to happen in other districts throughout Gotham. Um, we're really excited to start this journey. It's going to be social. It's going to ask you all to work together. I could not be more excited that this community is one that seems to be really committed to working together in um, in, in really healthy ways. And I, I, I hope that you all will, will work hard to keep this community um, standing for justice and making sure that everyone is gonna be able to have a great experience together um, because we're building it together as groups and we wanna be able to make sure that you all get different opportunities to play in the fantastic story world of Gotham City. Um, yeah, and I'm also like, when I ask the question, at the same time, I'm solving Riddler puzzles in Arkham City. Um, oh, yeah. <laughs> I also love the cow that I have because it's like, it's whitish. And we, I happen to have like my own like sets of gear back cow in Injustice 2 that um, is also white as well. So I like that connection there. Absolutely. And, and I think you'll see cows all over the place in the DC universe. I think we're all really excited. Um, you know, we love getting to play in Batman games and, and um, listening to the podcasts and exploring the DC universe as much as you all do. And, you know, I just, it, it's such a thrill to be able to be part of this whole world that people are working around the clock to, to tell stories in. And every time a new one comes out that I didn't, I didn't know about yet, um, it's as much as an exciting surprise for me as it is for all of you. And we want to be part of as many as we can and are also delighted when we can get you surprised by something, something that someone else around the world has been working on um, because of the love of Batman that they can bring to life. Awesome. Thank you so much uh, for your question. Um, Elise and Caitlin, thank you so much for taking time out of your day. I know you're both incredibly busy. Thank you for joining us for an AMA. We still have tons of people actually waiting to ask questions, so we might have to do this again. So I will be in touch. Um, <laughs> but really, really appreciate you uh, sharing your day with us and answering some questions from the community. Um, we will definitely be doing this again. For those of you in the audience, you should you should see that you have a new role called AMA Attendees attached to your profile. Head over to the AMA Attendees uh, channel and you can redeem your POAP. Everyone, we'll see you again soon. Thanks again for joining us, everyone. Bye-bye. Thank, Thank you all. So Bye.